Ugh. Yeah. Burhorst the boss. This guy. This guy's. This guy's. Uh, he's. He's a fun guy to play. Play against, I should say. Um. He has. Uh. I don't even really want to talk about this fight because it's really a crazy, silly fight. Um. Your interrupters. I cannot stress to you how important they are here. Um. He casts this thing called Infernal Lash about every seven to nine seconds. It has to be interrupted. I can't tell you how many times I've fired people in my guild. I've kicked them, demoted them, stole their platinum. I've done everything when it came to this boss to try to get people to get in their heads what to do. Um, the Infernal Lash basically just damages everybody. Five to six K fire damage. So if you have some kind of plan of protection as a guild, uh, you have a bard like me, I'm using that little elemental jammy to stop damage. Haha, <laughs> there it is, the fun stuff. Um, these are like big ass onion rings all over the ground, okay? That's what they are. They're onion rings that you don't want to eat. Apparently, as you can see, the people like to eat them in my guild. I don't know why they're not tasty. They, they, they don't help you in any way. There's no presence in them. But people like to stand in them. Um, you can stand in them for a little bit. Uh, you can see that I just swiped it a little bit. It, it hurts. It's not fun. Um, so you really want to try to avoid those. At first, there's three. You can see on the ground. Yeah, it looks like there's 333, but there's only actually three. As you can see, where we can walk, there's three. Um, and then I believe there's five, seven, 28, 64. It doesn't matter. Just avoid the circles. Um, He'll do a leaping flame, which is basically, this is the reason why we spread out. Some people will stay together, other people will, um, you know, uh, they'll stay together, they'll clump up, they'll spread out. We like to spread out this way, the leaping flame doesn't go, look, there's people eating the onion rings. Um, so, what, what's imperative here is you spread out, when someone gets leaping flame, the cleric has got to de um, debuff that person, you know, cleanse them, whatever the hell they do, purify, whatever. Okay, the onion rings do not take it off, so don't stand in them. Look, people still stand in it. Look, it's it's like an ongoing epidemic. People just really like to stand in it. Um, there, there they go again. Look at them. Look at them just standing in it. Um, you, you just remove the dot, and then afterwards they're going to have another dot that's uncleansable that you have to heal through. Um, the fight is not a long fight. It's the same thing over and over and over again. He'll... He, this guy, he'll do these little summon flames. So summon these, I think it's 80, 60, 40, 20. Uh, basically, you have an off tank. We had a cleric that was a healer that would use his mean to basically be a tank. He wore a couple things of toughness, tanked it basically, um, and he was also uh, uh, off healing as well. So he was like a support type role. You know, I was barden, and then we had that same build that we had in the Rander fight. Um, the purifier or the center car main healer bard off heal and then the cleric kind of tank off heal type deal you can use anybody that's heavy armor you can use a, a rogue you know evasion not evasion sidestep tank if you will it's really not a difficult fight the biggest thing is in interrupting that infernal lash um, avoid no stupid things on the ground because they're annoying and uh, again this was an Man, this was a clean fight. We had no deaths here. So it uh, it worked out really well, as you can see by looking at the fight. When it gets towards the end, after the 20%, we kind of ignore the last guy, and we just burn him. You know, uh, you know, if you're a rogue, a uh, bard, I should say, look, here I go. Watch me. I, I get crazy. It's like running through a funnel cake. Look at me. I don't, I have nowhere to go. I get stuck. I run through shit. So I pop everything I got. Uh, you know, Virtuoso and Riff, here I go, running through the shit, they look edible. As you can see, everybody's taking massive amounts of damage. Yep, here they go. Now here I go, look at me, I'm stuck. I can't do a cadence, I can't do shit. So I'm gonna just stand here, trying to find a way. Look at the rogue, he can just sit there and range all day. Uh, obviously the tank can't die, you see him jumping around. His health is like, man, crazy talk. But, it right there, easy mode, just, you know, breeze it. Know, just heals have got to be a game here heals people can't stand in the fire ignore the last male forge dude and that's good game 
Uh, any questions, comment, guildparanormal.com is the website. We're recruiting. Check us out. All right. Thanks for watching.